What's up YouTube? This is Cobra Timmy and I'm here to present you with Cobra or In the Wild Finds episode number 31. Episode number 31 has pickups from three three stops at Goodwills. As you see, all three bags are Goodwill. Um, they expand a three week duration starting at the last couple of days of October and the last pickup was recorded in the week ending on the 19th of November so in this duration there's like two pickups in one week and then I missed nothing or I had nothing to pick up for one week then I got one more pickup for the following week after so let's take a look at this uh, going in order of how I got them first pickup here on the 30th of October spent five dollars and 36 cents on five items all 99 cents each they are all ps1 games and those games are first power rangers time force uh picked this up because i got this at uh, another salvation army previously the disc i think was scratched up a little bit so i figured i'd pick this one up uh, but I do have a duplicate of it, so if anybody's interested in that, let me know. Uh, next, Disney's Donald Duck Going Quackers for PlayStation. Uh, most of these are missing the manuals except for this next one. Uh, Star Wars Episode One: Jedi Power Battles. This one's complete. Unfortunately, it's the Greatest Hits copy. Just open this up so you can see it. There it is. Next, I believe I have this already too, but I just picked it up because it's kind of a, I think it's at least over $5 in value. Spider-Man, again, needs a manual, but my copy has one, so this is a duplicate, I believe. Let me double check that, but I'm pretty confident that it is. And then the last pickup for this day is Spider-Man 2, Enter Electro. So... There's that. So next pickup is on the 3rd of November, which finishes this first week of fines. Paid $3.25 as I added one penny donation to the purchase. And that purchase is this collector's book for Zelda. Kind of shocking to see this in a Goodwill, but... They still have these for sale at Walmart. I know that because I've seen it a couple times. It's uh, Legend of Zelda Hyrule Historia. Kind of got basically different pictures and stuff about from the Legend of Zelda games. It kind of gives the history of the game. Pretty cool. Definitely if you're a Zelda collector worth buying. I jumped on it because normally this sells for $34.99. So that was a hell of a pickup there. So let's spread these out quick just to make this look nice. And then the final pickup is right here. This is two weeks later. On the 18th of November. Paid an even six dollars, but I only have one item in here. I believe I got a tote or something at this time. I don't remember exactly, but I bought something for $2.99, but it's not listed here. But Anyways, it's not important. I only show the game finds here. And that pickup is NASCAR's Dirt to Daytona. Pick this up again because it's kind of, uh, it's at least $5 or more. So I picked it up. I believe it's like 10 bucks on the PlayStation. So always trade bait for that. Disc has some scratches, but the JFJ can clean that up. So there's that. And... That will do it for this video. Unfortunately, the pickings are kind of slim here at in my area for finds at the Goodwills and the Salvation Armies. Plus, with holiday buying, uh, I've kind of tried to be a little tighter on funds a little bit. So, um, but honestly, walking going into today, as I'm speaking today, we're into December, and... Uh, I'm pretty much almost done with my Christmas shopping, so honestly, there's also some good pickups coming up here that you will see that I spent some money on. 
to make up for these small finds, but anything I can find I'll take, especially if I don't have it in the collection. Maybe one day I'll get some time to actually play these and enjoy them. Maybe here in the next few months when it slows down at work, but we'll see. So, have a good day guys. Hope you guys are getting finds at your stores like I am. If not as good, better. But, happy hunting and have a good day. Peace out.